I like when Papa is too tired for anything. Also kind of forgot that was a feature as well there, where random poems would appear randomly. <laughs> Fuck, I'm, I'm legit at this point, I'm trying. Oh, it doesn't work, does it? I think they only put words in that suit both of them. I don't know who I wrote a poem for, I'd literally just skip through that this time. Man, it's still in the back. And like the music's slightly different, I just noticed as well. It's like the tiniest thing. <sighs> oh, come on. Like he deserves any- <laughs> They already had to be dragged here by Monica. Oh, did the room- Wait, is the room slowly turning or- did it just turn when Natsuki came in? End of it. Uh, Monica, your, your, your hip is kind of in the way of the text. Can I, can I look there, please? It is! Wait! The background is! It's slowly zooming in and out, I think. So I look forward to hearing what you think. Thank God that stopped, man. That was annoying my head. You looking for something there? Fucking Monica! <laughs> there's a straight line. Don't judge a bull! <laughs> Tay, are you paying attention? Uh, uh, not really, actually. I'm kind of just speeding through this. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. <laughs> I was- I thought, oh yeah, this won't happen yet, and it just did! Like, even the music, like... Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. Monica reaches in her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in the K Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately starts tearing off the wrapper. I told you not to keep- mm. She can't feel her senses before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Joseph. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Oh, the thing in the back's gone now. Uh, this time, Yuri, I'm gonna give you a visit, because last time I didn't. So it took you a long time to read. That- <laughs> Wait, let's recreate. That took me one second to skip! What do you mean it took me a long time to read? Well, I suppose you Yeah, I did glance over it this time, I'm not gonna lie. I must say, the amount of times my mouth is starting to foam up from the amount of talking I'm doing. Like, my throat is gonna be in bits after this, man. And now, Monica. Sorry, Monica, I left you last this time, but I was curious to see who fucked up this time. If you ever do yeah, cool, I'm always listening, don't be afraid to bring things up. Monica, I'm bringing this up again. Please just fucking cancel the club, just stop it. Like, there's no need to do this anymore, alright? This kind of thing makes Natsuki would write. And a good oh my god! I accidentally made another Natsuki poem without thinking, bruh! Yep, if you're interested, Natsuki always has snack on you. She clings to you like a puppy. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house. So she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she loses all of her strength and just shuts down. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her mal malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know? Sorry, it's just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Is there anything different? Wait, oh wait, is this a continuation? Oh my god, this is a continuation! Hole in the wall. Part two, he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears? The room begins to crinkle, closing on me. The air I breathe dissipates before I reaches my lungs. I panic, there must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. But I can specifically feel like... As I was saying. Phew, I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. There's a little more stressful than I've been. Taking our own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking, you wannabe edgy bitch. Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counter counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Well, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh my bad, you already do that, don't you? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Joseph hear any everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh, suddenly Yuri turns towards me as if she just knows I was standing here. Well, Joseph, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How do I get tracked in? Whatever. I don't think it matters who I choose.
Hi, Monica. Um, hey, Joseph. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? Can't even confront my own club members properly. So then he knocks out as he runs out of the classroom. <laughs> she quickly runs away. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Right before the desk with her palms on her forehead. But Yuri? I, I didn't mean it. I believe you. I've no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki, or did. Joseph, please don't hate me. Please. I I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We all know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me as if she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take care of that responsibility for today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not like that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Joseph. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really do appreciate- I shouldn't have clicked it, should I? <laughs> I had to click the weird text, didn't I? <laughs> oh, God. Rain cloud. Wait. Happiness. Clouds. Grief. Boop. Depression. Death. Peace. Cry. Hurt. Heaven sent. Hop. Love. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? I was not! Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she- She's fine. She's reading over there, see? Don't, don't think about her so much. She's, she's used to be ignored. ignored. Come, Come on, we're, we're going over there. there. But the facility gets even worse as- and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to- Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. Anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's- that's kind of- that's kind of dark, isn't it? Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Joseph? No, it's not that. I- I mean- Oh, fuck, it's back in the background! I just noticed it now! Oh my god. When horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but, but because, because the, the world, world is full of horrible people, people and, and we're, we're all worthless, worthless anyway, anyway. Then suddenly, I'm rambling, I'm rambling, aren't I?